What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Brian Garcia Torado here. So today we are at Ty's shop. Uh, you guys know I'm on Instagram as Lolag V. Uh, got the Challenger all set up there. We got it jacked up on jack stands. And today we're gonna be installing the Vcrez Dodge Demon front bumper. That way tomorrow we can start putting the wide body kit on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what the uh, front bumper, everything that comes in the kit one more time and just go over it. And then uh, we'll get started on the car. All right, guys, you see I got everything laid out here in front of me. And the big piece, of course, is the main fascia, the front fascia. Down here, we've got the uh, front chin spoiler. I'm not quite sure how to install this piece yet, but you know I'm gonna figure it out. Over here, we got the lower grills. And then we got the upper uh, grills and the headlamp bezels. And they all go, at least the upper grill, goes up into this bracket here. And it all kind of snaps in. And then this giant piece goes up here and sort of straightens this up out. Also on the kit, you're gonna receive some hardware. You've got your screws, you've got your uh, you got your locking nuts here, and you've got some rivets. So make sure you guys get a rivet gun for this job and I'll show you guys where to put those in. So let's get started in removing this front bumper. And I know a lot of you guys might be wondering, like, Brian, why didn't you get the front bumper painted first before you put it together? And it's like, well, you always want to test fit your pieces before you get them painted because it would suck to get it painted and then you got to either grind something down or sand something down and it just ruins the paint. Uh, so you always want to test fit your parts. And also, in order for me to put this wide body on, that front flare that goes next to that uh, reflector, uh, it's actually like really important because it sort of lines up the rest of that flare uh, for the front fenders. So that's the reason why I'm doing that. So I'm going to continue keep working and putting this front bumper together show you guys how it's put together. All right, so when you look at these bumpers, uh, one thing you got to transfer over is this bracket right in here. This is how it lines up onto the fenders and uh, the top of the hood. Uh, these slide into uh, the fender and this slides into the top of the fender. And this is sort of a guide pin. So the way you get these off is by drilling out these um, rivets right here and then transferring it onto uh, the new bumper right there. But I think the best way to do this is to actually insert this piece, which is right over here. So insert this piece into here first and then, trans and then transfer the brackets. So that's actually the first thing we're gonna do. So let's get started. And the other thing is this weather strip seal. There are a bunch of plastic rivets in here, uh, blind rivets. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drill those out too after I get that one painted and transfer the seal. So when I transfer the seal, it's gonna be more towards the end. All right, so here I got the bumper flat on its face. This just slides into these tabs on the bottom and the top. As you can see, I got the grill laying on here now. And I just want to show you guys before I put all the way in how it clips in. So you just line it up and then you push down and it'll clip in does take some force, so just take your time, be patient, and you'll get it in there. So, we'll keep going. All right, so I got the bumper upside down, but it's just because it's kind of off balance. But I got the front grill in, and I'm gonna put this headlamp bezel in. And as you can see, right here, that needs to go right there. So the way to do it is to go underneath, just like that. And then there's a pin that goes Use this right in there, and in the corner, and then these two pieces go right there behind the grill. So real simple, just clips into place. All right guys, so that's the upper part of the uh, bumper. The only thing I didn't do was put those plastic rivets in where the uh, front, uh, where the hood seal goes. Um, and my only piece of advice is take your time. Um, it's Probably easier with two people, but I mean, I did it by myself, so not impossible. Um, and just be careful with it. You know, you don't want to break anything and you got to replace it. So now I think the easier part is putting the lower grill in because it's just nuts and bolts and screws. So we're going to go ahead and put that lower grill together. And then we're going to go and swap those brackets off of the uh, old bumper. So I'm going to keep on working. Just to show you guys what I did, the hardware provided, I just put it uh, in the holes where it belongs, pretty straightforward. 
You can see on the other side of the bumper, which is, this is the actual front of the car, um, there's divots in this front grille piece, and that's where the rest of the hardware goes, and then this is the hardware on the back. And the last part of the lower grille um, are these vents, and they uh, just clip right in place. And the extra arm it has here goes up against the middle part of the lower grille. So I'm gonna put the other side on, and then transfer over the uh, brackets. All right, just showing you guys. See, I drilled out the first rivet. There's the second one we need to drill out. All I'm using is a Craftsman uh, electric powered one. transfer it onto that one. All right, so I removed the bracket. I transferred it over. Um, now I'm using the rivet that they supplied. And this rivet gun I got from my Carbo Freight a few years ago. You don't need anything too crazy. Um, and then you're just gonna rip these in. So I need to use both my hands. I'll do that real quick. So I moved the bumper over here because it's gonna be easier to put the bumper on the car and then put this front splitter on because with it laying down like that, the front of it hits the ground and it doesn't line up. Um, so my car is a 09 uh, SRT8. So I have already tried putting the bumper on and it looks like this right here gets in the way. As in, my bumper is deeper in this part and this bumper is shallower. So you remove a couple of push pins right here. I got them right there. And then I'm using the screwdriver because so I'm pushing down on these tabs and it loosens this up. So I loosened all the top ones up. Now you need to go ahead and do the same for the bottom. It's only a few. You get the point, it comes right off. So this is actually how I had the car when I tried mounting up this bumper uh, when I first got it. And it actually looks like these are what's in the way. So the only way to find out is to remove them. It looks like it's just a couple of 10 millimeters. So we're going to go ahead and remove those and see if we can actually get this bumper to slide right on. show you guys I'm taking this piece off too it looks like this is protruding too much to allow the bumper to seat properly so it's a couple more push uh, push tabs on the top one two three four and the ambient air temp sensor right there so just gonna go ahead and remove that and see if we can get this line up there. All right guys, so you can see behind me, I got the bumper relatively on, but there's a couple key things that I want to point out to you guys so you don't run into the um, uh, fitment issues that I'm running into. I really, really call them issues, but I'll explain why I'm having the issues real quick. So let's get over there. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna notice is you're gonna see the corner of my headlamp right there. So it's not sitting completely flush. Um, so the reason being is because the 2009 headlamps are uh, a lot bigger than the 2015 and up headlamps. So what's happening is, if you come over here to this side, it's relatively flush. I mean, you can see it follows the line of the car. It bolts in right here, or, you know, it fastens in nice and tight. But as you start stretching it, and you can see these, uh, for the most part, line up. Like I said, I didn't rip these in place. So once you fold this up, the holes will line up up here for the rivets for the most part. But then when you come over here, it starts not lining up as well. You see, you start having some mismatches over here. And this side, it's like it almost doesn't reach. But if you look right in here, you can see where the bumper is actually hitting the headlamp. Same thing on this side, passenger side. 
and I have that smoked out film on my headlamp so you can see we're starting to pull it and peel it up from where I've been trying to make the uh, bumper fit. So you might be asking yourself, what's the fix? And you can do a uh, 2015 headlamp conversion or you can try to shave down, try to shave down some of this bumper uh, to make it fit. Uh, for the most part, it doesn't look too bad except for the offset headlamps. Of course, you can see that. And I did remove the lower grill because I forgot I have my splitter support rods and it wasn't allowing me to move the bumper around because I got, I got to find out what uh, vents I need to cut out. So yeah, this is what I wanted to point out. And again, you can see where it's hitting the headlamp and starting to peel up the film. Um, the plus side is that this side is so flush that I feel comfortable mounting up the fender flares to this side of the car. All right, so I went ahead and put the lower grill so I can have that uh, complete look. So I did trim where I needed to. It was kind of awkward, which kind of sucks. Um, this one kind of found its own little home, but that's all right. Um, I also need to trim out that slot for the tow hook. And now that I figured out that it's the headlamps that are in the way, um, I put some of these in just to hold it in place. I think it's safe to say that I can put this back in, uh, knowing that, you know, that probably wasn't the cause. And it'll take up some of these gaps in here where you can see all the orange and the new power steering cooler. And of course, all this up here is just open. I don't like that. If not, you know, I'll just trim that up a little bit too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that front uh, splitter on. Um, that way we have uh, more points to look at when we're mounting up this wide body kit for you guys. So let's keep working. All right, guys, so I went ahead and put on the uh, front splitter. I only got a couple bolts in the corners to hold it up in place so it's not moving. Um, this uh, piece right here is actually the very last piece to go on. It kind of goes on with your belly pans uh, underneath your under tray. I didn't put it on because I don't want to put the whole thing together because I am going to take it apart again. Uh, to get it painted. Same thing with this lower grill. I kind of got it in place with just a few bolts so it doesn't move. Uh, you can see how this front splitter here has got like this ledge right here. It just hooks up on the back and then there's these tabs that the bolts go through. You see, I don't even got it on there all the way. I just got it on there enough so I can get a good point of reference to start this flare right here. And of course, one more thing that I didn't transfer over from this bumper is uh, the wiring harness. So you are going to need this wiring harness, um, even though I don't have fog lights anymore. Um, it does power the uh, reflectors. So the reflectors are going to go right there. So, All right, guys. So that's going to wrap up today's video. It wasn't too in-depth because it actually wasn't too difficult. A lot of this stuff just really snaps in place. I mean, look how cool that looks right now. A uh, huge shout out to Vicrez right there uh, for hooking us up with these parts. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, give a shout out to Ty for letting us use his shop. You can see his Cadillac right back there. He's doing some work to it. Got a lot of things coming out for that as well. So uh, the next video coming out will be the wide body install. So uh, make sure you keep your eyes out for that. And if you like these videos, guys, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button or leave a comment below. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. And you know, I'll continue to grow from there. So until next time, guys, peace out.